Hey guys, so I am back in Miami with my two little cute cuddle buddies. Come on guys, come here. Hi YouTubers. My love. I had an interesting week in New York. So many things were boarded up and it was so sad to kind of see everything like that. So many stores actually permanently closed so they weren't only boarded up because of the protest and it was just really quiet and ghost-like. I was happy and a little bit sad at the same time, but I'm not gonna be gone forever. Most of my stuff is in storage. In any case, while I was there, I got a lot of things done. So I packed all these appointments all together to get a lot of beauty things that I need to get done, like laser hair removal, Pico Shore, cool sculpting, which I didn't end up doing cool sculpting. I'll tell you why now. So I did Pico Shore on my arms and it's been about a week to a week and like a day or so since I did it. I do see a little bit of a difference, but I still have spots. However, the doctor did inform me, Dr. Anna, who I love, <laughs> did inform me that it will take about four to five sessions. So I wasn't going to see a huge difference, but I did see somewhat of a difference. There was absolutely no downtime, as you guys will see now, I'll show you. I was red for like a day or two, but after that, it totally went away. Now some spots are gone. There's still some left. I plan to exfoliate like my doctor said to do, my dermatologist and that will help a little bit and hopefully I'll fly back up after this whole quarantine is over to do my remaining sessions. But I had really wanted to do Pico Shore on my arms. I had done it before on my eyebrows, so that worked out really well. You can use it as a facial laser and basically on any part of your body. I did it on my arms up to here and I'm gonna show you guys how the arms looked right after the procedure and a week later. So I will also be discussing how the radi radi os, radius <laughs> looks, you know, before and after. So basically what happened was when I got to Beauty Fix, they were having a promotion for cool sculpting, a summer promotion. So I said, okay, I'll go to my dermatologist to do the Pico Shore and I'll go to Beauty Fix because I like Beauty Fix for certain things. My doctor has done it about three times on me, Dr. Anna Valiani before and the results were insane amazing for cool sculpting so this time i wanted to do it again but at beauty fix so when i got there basically they were telling me that i can't do it because i don't have fat there like i used to have and it will leave me with like a shark bite like a hole and i found that hard to believe because dr anna was gonna do it for me and i made a mistake i should have just done it with her like when i did my pico shore so basically we went back and forth with the clinical director and she didn't want to do it on me so that was a mistake i should have stuck with dr anna um so what they did suggest was that they add radius here on my chin here on the sides of my jaw and here a little bit just to lift this up and this if they inject it it will bring out my chin more so it will show less of an appearance on my double chin, but they think I don't have one. But I beg to differ because in a lot of my pictures or when I laugh and stuff, I'm like, I hate it. So basically what the filler would do is bring this out more and define this more. So it did bring out my chin a bit. It's more pointy. I'll show that before and after here. And I did like it in here as well. I think, you know, she said it could help if I lift it a little, bring this out and then define the sides as well. And it would give that double chin less of an appearance. I have never done radius. I've never done fillers here. I've never done fillers here. I have done it here for Botox, but not like in here. So that was interesting. I will say that my skin was very sensitive because currently I'm taking Epiduo, which is a cream to get rid of some spots and bumps I've been having. It's just these masks are terrible. They clog my pores. And one thing that my dermatologist said is to make sure that before you put on your mask, wash your face. And after you take off your mask, wash your face. I know you can't always wash your face where you are whenever you want, but at least when you get home, wash your face immediately because you will start seeing breakouts and your pores will get clogged worse than lots of makeup so that has been my issue and hopefully with the epiduo these bumps will just fade away so my skin was sensitive anyways 
So I will say it did hurt me and I have a huge pain tolerance. Like I can do lip fillers without it hurting me, lasers, it nothing bothers me. So that I was sensitive. If you're sensitive, it is gonna hurt you. I'm not gonna lie. So basically they didn't let me record that filler procedure. I wish I just did everything with my doctor, but I did get to film the Pico Shore procedure. So I was really happy about that. It did not hurt. I've done Pico Shore on my brows, as you guys know and my tattoo she didn't numb my um arms so like it honestly did not hurt so don't worry about it if you're looking to do it on your arms or anything like that and i wanted to do it on my butt but i decided my arms are more important because they're more visible here in hot weather i have to wear shorter sleeves so i'm excited to be on this journey and i will show you now how that went after two days and then I stopped recording because I got so busy bombarded when I got back with more EcoPod stuff. So here is the Pico Shore procedure. So this is right after Pico Shore. My arms are super red. Um, I wore a sweater for workout. Don't get sun on the area that you get Pico Shore. Um, it does burn a little, but only when I have the sweater on. So not right now. When I have a shirt on, it does burn a little. Um, so protect yourself. And hopefully after one session, I will see results but although the doctor recommended four. So let's see. And then after that, the redness kind of just went away. As far as the fillers, so now I'll go on to the fillers. The fillers did hurt, like I said. They left me bruises here mainly. I didn't really see any bruises here. Just a little bruise I had here, which you guys will see now. And this took a while, it took about five days to go away so just the other day they finally went away so you do want to make sure you have concealer as i've mentioned before i love the huda beauty overachiever concealer that is like what i call like the instagram cover-up look like a lot of major major coverage and i even use that when i had red eyebrows for my microblading ink i honestly don't bruise much but here it's sensitive like i said because i'm using epiduo cream so that's probably why I was so bruised and it was here because she goes under here on top. I really wish I could have showed you guys. <laughs> Next time I'll stick to my dermatologist. So yeah, I was kind of frustrated they wouldn't do the cool sculpting, but I think this did help a little bit. I'm not going to say that it was like life changing. My face changed drastically, but I do see that here it is pointier. So I have more of like a little bit pointier here. I have more definition here and here as well. And here I do see like it's a little bit lifted and sticking out a little bit more. I've been against the filler in my cheeks. Like I haven't done it because I always thought that like my cheeks already are big, which they are. And like, I didn't want to look like a chipmunk, but honestly it wasn't anything intense. Unless you guys think I look crazy, let me know, please. And my view on the whole like fillers, beauty things, surgeries is that just do it. If you, if it's something you really want to do and it's going to make you feel better, go ahead and do it. And I'm not saying to, you know, just do it with whomever. You have to do your research. You have to make sure that they won't make you botch because that would be really messed up and just do it. I tell people all the time, like if it's going to make you feel better, why not? You're the one that wakes up in the morning, you look at yourself in the mirror, and if something is constantly bothering you, then why not change it if you can? So I really think it's something that, you know, people shouldn't be ashamed about. I really do not care about publicizing the fact that I do it. I think nothing's wrong about it. I like the way that I look. I do not have body dysmorphia. I think there's nothing wrong with it. Some people prefer to not do anything at all, and that's super okay too not against that either at the end of the day you're living with yourself you wake up every morning you look at yourself in the mirror you live with certain things and if you feel horrible about it and you really want to make a change then do it it's not about others it's about you so both of them were very pleasant procedures of course i did see an immediate effect of the fillers nothing massive 
I'll put that before and after here so you can see. Again, the fillers is something you have to upkeep. So remember, just like your Botox, it'll probably have to be, I don't know, six months or so. It really depends. I think it has a longer life than Botox. I think Botox is like three to five. I would say this is like six, seven. But just remember, you have to upkeep fillers and they're expensive. So if it's something that you want to do and you want to just change your face a little bit and add more structure, higher like cheekbones, the appearance of higher cheekbones, you have to upkeep that. You have to go, you have to make sure you schedule it on your calendar and know that this is a process, not, you know, the lips I would say is a process. That's Restylane if you choose Restylane. That takes a while to build up depending how small or big your lips are but as far as filler just remember like radius you have to keep going in order to keep that facial structure so that was okay i recommend it just find somebody who's not gonna botch you because then that would be really messed up <laughs> i do my research so if you're looking for the place it's beauty fix med spa if you're looking for pico shore or really all dermatology needs go to dr anna valiani so it really depends on you you have to go for a consult i believe they're offering virtual consults so amazing amazing i recommend again 100 percent. i've replied to a lot of you guys on instagram thanks for reaching out and also on my videos saying that pico shore is always the way to go if you want to remove something whether it's like laser facial your tattoo you know bumps on your arms your butt which is my next thing <laughs> and i hope to see how really you know keeping up this whole filler thing is going to go for me i wasn't my intention wasn't to do that, to keep up the fillers because it is a lot of work and I never really thought I needed that. I just love cool sculpting because it gives you, you know, that really good look without having to put fillers in your face. And cool sculpting, if you guys don't know, basically it sucks onto your skin and it freezes the fat. So basically, you know, within the next few weeks or so or a few months, you're basically kind of like expelling the fat you kind of pee it out basically but you also have to work out with it so it's not like you go in and whatever so it helps if you work out makes that process of eliminating the fats faster but it freezes those cells and then they burst and they're supposed to be eliminated if you have any questions about either of those procedures please feel free to Put your questions below that's pretty much it on my review of those it wasn't anything drastic so sorry if you guys were looking for something drastic hopefully i'll be recording more i've been so busy since i got back i mean i was busy there i was busy here and we have so many things going on with ecopod so that's really exciting so this kind of social media has taken a second side step but i will be back so I just wanted to inform you guys on what I've been doing and sorry if like my reviews aren't that thorough. I feel like sometimes people are like, what is that? That wasn't a review. You didn't do an unboxing like on my previous vlog about a MacBook Pro. But I hope you guys like my videos and my channels. And if you do, hit subscribe below, hit that bell for notifications and I will see you guys soon. Stay safe and take care guys. Mwah. Oh,